This is calculator question number 27 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us the graph of the line and they ask for the equation of a perpendicular line, which of the following could be that equation. So these answer choices are in standard form and if you can write the original equation in standard form, there's a way of doing it. But I'm going to go with slope intercept form because many of us who have trouble with this prefer slope intercept. So I have this point here, x1, y1, equals x is negative 5 when y is 0, and x2, y2, this point is x is 0 when y is positive 3. So my slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this is nice because it's a formula, and it's a formula that's very familiar. The things to watch out for is make sure that you have your y's in the numerator and x in the denominators. Don't flip it. And also don't swap the coordinates for one of them without swapping the coordinates for both. So y2 minus y1 is 3 minus 0 is 3. x2 minus x1 is 0 minus negative 5 is positive 5. So our slope is 3 fifths. And we do see it as a positive slope, so I didn't flip the sign on that. And my equation is y equals 3 fifths x plus 3. Although we're just looking for a perpendicular line, so we didn't need to know the intercept. The slope of a perpendicular line will be flip this slope, so 5 thirds instead of 3 fifths, and make it negative. So negative 3 fifths would be the slope of a perpendicular. In choice A, I have 5x plus 3y plus 3 equals 0. Let's move the 5x and the 3 to the right-hand side. So 3y equals negative 5x minus 3. Divide both sides by 3. And I get y equals negative 5 thirds x minus 1. And that is the correct slope for a perpendicular line. So choice A is a one of the possible equations for a per perpendicular line. Any y-intercept would still be perpendicular if we had that slope. But let's go back here and multiply both sides by 5. So y equals 3 fifths x plus 3. Multiply the left by 5, multiply the right by 5. 5y five equals 3x plus 15. If I subtract 3x from both sides, or actually let's subtract the 5y, I get 0 equals 3x minus 5y plus 15. And this is standard form ax plus by plus c equals 0. To find a perpendicular in standard form, swap the x and y coefficients and then flip the sign on one of them. So that would be 0 equals positive 5x plus 3y plus 15. So I took the negative 5 from the y and I put it with the x, took the positive 3 with, from the x, put it with the y, and then I flipped the sign on one of them. I chose to make the negative positive. Any standard form that has 5x plus 3y on the same side of the equal sign will be perpendicular to my original line, and that would be choice A. It's often faster to write in standard form and swap the coordinates and flip the sign, if you remember that, but we're often safer with y equals mx plus b slope intercept form because we have a lot of practice with that. Either way, the College Board sometimes asks for a perpendicular line and make sure you remember how to find it. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.